If you flip the human nervous system upside down, it looks like a tree growing out of a seed, bearing the fruit of the heart, which looks suspiciously like a piece of fruit hanging in a tree. That tree growing out of the seed also supports the fruit of the spirit, and the cycle of the seed looks suspiciously like the parable of the sower. 12 pair of cranial nerves to edify the body controlled by the mind. 12 disciples sent out in pairs to edify the body controlled by the head. 12 disciples with one removed. 12 tribes with one removed. Adam's 12 pair of ribs with one removed to make Eve. Jesus pierced in his side to bring the church to life. Are you starting to see it? I often wonder why God made me a medical doctor. And then I start to see the gospel and the anatomy and physiology of our bodies. And it all starts to make sense. Allow me to elaborate. If the husband is the head and the wife is the body, then the husband is the brain and the wife is the heart. And so the husband is responsible for thinking, taste, touch, sight, smell, and hearing. And the wife is responsible for feeling, following, the brain, and doing. All you have to do is study the central and peripheral nervous systems, and then the somatic and autonomic nervous systems. And you will know exactly how your marriage is supposed to be structured. And why you guys can't get along for the life of you. It's the heart arguing with the mind. The rod arguing with the staff. The law arguing with grace. The circulatory system arguing with the nervous system. Is it possible that we are complementary systems? Each with our own beautiful, necessary, and different roles. God already gave us all the answers. It's just that we are blind to the fact that all creation testifies. The head has all five senses. The husband is the central nervous system and the wife is the body or the peripheral nervous system. This is why women are more emotional and men are more logical. This is why the Proverbs 31 woman is off doing things like the body while the husband is at the city gates with the elders getting more sensory input so that he can tell the body what to go do. And since this is a mirror of Jesus and the church, anything you say that the wife is not supposed to submit to the husband in, you are therefore inferring that the church doesn't have to submit to Christ in that same thing. So be very careful with your feminist pushback, at least if you claim to be a Christian. And for the men, understand that the reason she won't submit to you is because you're not submitting to Christ. Fix your relationship with Jesus and he will fix your relationship with your wife. The Bible says wives submit to their husbands in all things, just like the body submits to the brain in all things. And the curse of Genesis 3 is essentially that the heart will resent the mind and try to become the mind, thinking with their hearts, making emotional-based decisions disguised as logical ones. Doesn't that sound like every marriage you've ever seen? The equal and opposite functions of the sympathetic division versus the parasympathetic division of the autonomic nervous system tells us a lot. And the deeper I go on this division between the head and the body, the more sense it starts to make, all the way down to the action potentials of the nervous system, competitive enzymatic inhibition, catabolic biochemical pathways, the central dogma of protein synthesis, and everything else you can imagine, literally all creation testifies. A matter of fact, if you look at the human body, the legs look like roots, the base looks like a trunk, the arms look like branches, and we have this fruit of knowledge on the top with the fruit of life, our heart, in the middle. This might even explain the Trinity, that the Holy Spirit is the heart of God and Christ is the mind of God, and God the Father is the entire body. Or maybe Christ is the heart and the Holy Spirit is the mind? What do you think? Which might explain our metaphysical anatomy of body, soul, and spirit. The Bible says the mind that is governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. The mind governed by the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law. This is also how God feels about a wife that won't submit to her husband or a husband that allows himself to submit to his wife. It's the body leading the head or the heart overtaking the mind. Tonight at 7.30 Central Standard Time, I'll be starting a series of Bible studies on this topic. Just click this link right here at the top of my profile, click on the War Within Uncensored, and pick any package you want. I'll see you on the Zoom call tonight.